Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Then go into System Settings. Before we used to do all our updates on the App Store, but now it's all under the System Settings. That's for your system itself, the Mac OS. So let's go right into it. Now, right away, if you guys don't see any updates like right here, don't worry about it. We can just go and type up here where it says Search for Updates. So just scroll up a little bit. You should see Search and then just type in Update. You're gonna see software update, click there. They should be coming up. If nothing pops up for you, just turn off and on automatic updates. That should refresh things and you should be able to see this. If you click on view more information, you're gonna see this and just tap on update now. And here we go. So you have to agree to this. It's gonna download the update. Then it's just gonna restart your Mac and you will be all done. Apple logo loading bar, obviously. And for most of you, this should not take more than 10 minutes. However, for those of you with older Macs, sure, this could take half an hour, which is about it. But again, most of you no more than 10 minutes, if not less with your Macs. This is less than half a gig. So even if you've got slow internet, this should be a fast download. If you guys want this to download a little bit faster, go ahead and use an ethernet cable in order to make this process a bit faster. Again, after the downloading, it's gonna install. And for that, you can't do anything. It's all about your machine itself. Make sure you've got enough free space. You never want to have just, let's say, 10 gigs left on your Mac. Because when you're updating, it might even get stuck. And luckily, I made a video about that, just in case you do get stuck. Um, there is a fix around it, but it is a workaround. And you never want to have to actually follow that type of video because it's a mess. So you just want to keep things good make sure you have at least 30 gigs of free space. And also for your Mac to keep running smoothly, you also want that amount of space, at least the amount of space for free. But right now, all we can do is just wait. At this point in time, you could just leave your Mac. If you have a MacBook, for example, just make sure it's hooked up some electricity. And if you have an iMac or anything like that, just go ahead and make sure not to turn it off while you're doing this. Don't be working on any projects. I do recommend making a time machine backup usually before doing any updates, but this one's really small, so you could get away without doing that. If you guys don't know what time machine is, I do have a separate video that teaches you how to do that and what that is. But right now, all you guys can do is just wait, just let your Mac update by itself. You're gonna come back later on, and then you will see that it's all up to date. So you could just leave your Mac at this point. All right, so if you left your Mac to be, you should have seen Apple logo, loading bar, and it's gonna restart, and then you would be done. You would see this. So right now, if you go into updates, once again, we could check it out and see that you're all up to date. So right now I should say Mac OS 14.1.2 and that would be the latest update for Mac. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.